What do you think? I think we're dead meat. Real dead meat. You're dead meat! Go ahead and laugh, you guys. The final final little pass is a business. Dead Meat. Welcome to the Dead Meat Podcast, your horror safe haven. I'm Chelsea. And I'm James. And we're married and we like to get scared together. This week, by the way, there's a cat tower between us because Lucy was hanging out in here a little bit ago and we thought maybe this would get her to stay. (laughs) She might come back. We'll see. This week's weird. I'm realizing I feel so unprepared We have no preparation. The whole point of this is for us to not be prepared. So I love playing games on this show, and usually it's just me torturing James with a game that I've invented. (laughs) But I came up with a way for us to both play something this week, and we're gonna see how it goes. This is very experimental. Definitely. Gressel's gonna help us. The reason we're able to do it like this is now we have the switchboard and stuff so we can do fun stuff with video and sound in here. So we'll see how it goes. What we're going to do is I think we have we have enough episodes of this podcast now, which is really cool, to play a game with all of them. Bella, our amazing researcher, went and found a bunch of out of, out of context quotes from the backlog of the podcast. I don't know how far back she went. I have no idea. Like truly, I know I have no idea what she prepped for us. So Grassel's going to read a bunch of quotes out loud and we have to figure out who said them if it was either me or James and what episode it was from. Yeah, and this was inspired by a fan-made video. You know, I'm going to pull it up because that was so important and such a good video. It is hosted on Dead Meat because it was posted to the subreddit and I enjoyed it so much and thought it was so funny and such a good showcase of just how silly this show can be sometimes uh, that I I contacted the person and asked if we could post it on Dead Meat itself. And uh, yes, they agreed to it and their name, uh, Maiku G. That, Maiku, okay, Maiku G. Maiku G, thank you so much. So go check out their channel yes. if you like. And I believe they said that they were working on another video. Uh, oh boy, out of we'll context see. video. <laughs> yeah, so we're kind of playing a game inspired by that video because yeah. it was so crazy how half so the stuff in there I didn't even remember I saying. I had no idea what the hell we were talking about. I love having no memory of lot recording of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of poop. Yeah. A lot of poop. Hit us up with the first quote, Gressel, please. All right, here's the first quote. <laughs> Sit on my face, I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is going to be so hard. Sit on my face, I dare you. <laughs> do, do you guys, did you guys explain the rules, how, what what it is you're trying to guess? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Who said it? Who said, said it? What episode and some context. Sit on my face, I dare you. I that feels see like you. A I was going to say, I think you said that. I just don't know. Sit on my, like what? Why would it be like, I dare you to do it? I feel like it's maybe not as sexual as it could be, because that would be vulgar. <laughs> Sitting on someone's face is always pretty vulgar. When I was... No, no, it could be like a Rikishi type situation. Oh, sure. Or, you know. I just remind, so my, uh, my parents had Monty Python on vinyl, and they had like a bunch of uh, old Monty. Do you know exactly? Do you know I know what exactly I'm... what you're talking about, 100. Yeah, percent Yeah. There's a song. And on... tell and tell me that you love yeah, me. There's yeah, there's a yeah. song on a Monty Python record that sit on my face and tell you, tell me that you love me. And as a kid, I understand that that's sexual. So I just thought it was like singing my my. <laughs> I remember my mom just being like, no, 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 you can't like sing that in public. <laughs> like, it's not appropriate. Oh man. I'm not understanding why for the longest time. Um, <laughs> boy. Yeah, I think I said it. Have we seen any movies? Where there's like a giant woman? <laughs> no. Have we seen any <laughs> movies where someone dies or where there is any kind of face sitting involved whatsoever? <laughs> oh my God, there's so many episodes of this podcast. This has to be. Oh, well, I'll tell you it didn't happen in Bees. No. <laughs> this has to be uh, a, a, from a movie review, I think. I might, we might have to ask Russell some yes or no. Are we correct that James said that? Yes. Okay. Is it from a movie review? No. Oof. Okay. Ooh, I wonder, fucked. is it a would you rather maybe? <laughs> Sit on my face, I dare you. Is it a guess the kill? No. It's not a guess the kill. Oh man, 
I don't know. We did the we did the my last guess to see if we're on the right track is was oh. it the game we played with you with the people that we had to guess? It was not that game. No. Okay. okay, I think we gotta give up. Yeah, because I got nothing for I have this. Nothing. What? Uh, roll oh, the yeah. clip. Okay, roll, roll the, the clip. we're gonna roll yeah. the clip. You had the guts to sit there. Shit on my face, I dare you. Sit on me, do it. (laughs) Oh, that was from horror movie gimmicks. It's from horror movie gimmicks, but I still don't fully understand what the fuck we're talking about. I don't know. I I talked in like a Pooh Bear voice. (laughs) Sit on my face, I dare you. What the fuck? I want, it has to be some like William, William Castle. Castle I wonder if it's the Tingler because that was where they rigged up all the seats. Yeah. To make Sit you, there, I dare you. I, I don't know where the on my face came from. That's my best guess, though. Oh man, I realize this is. I I don't have any more context. My for goal that. is that we get one right. Okay. Out Just 20, one. Just one. Yeah. Is my goal. Okay. Well, there's the. Uh, I guess if I, if I have to, I'll go back in and edit some more context. In, like I'll find the <laughs> clip with more context so that. I don't leave the audience hanging. Sure. The Tingler's posters promised that the Tingler itself would break loose into the audience during the film in what was called Percepto. And some featured images of a theater seat asking if you had the guts to sit there. Shit on my face, I dare you. Shit on me, do it. (laughs) All right, let's move on to the next one. What's quote number two? Are you ready for the next one? Yeah. I would totally raise the Antichrist. We'd have so much fun. I do think I know this one. Okay. This is from... Oh. I said it. That sounds like a Chelsea for sure, for sure. I think it's from a Would You Rather. I think it's from a really early episode. That sounds right. He's loading up the clips. I feel like he got it I think I got it. He's loading it up. Rule. (laughs) I would totally raise the Antichrist. Oh, no. We'd have so much fun. Chelsea. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, wow. That must have been one of the first seven... Because we were filming in the office. We were filmed in our apartment office on opposite sides of it before we moved to the uh, table. I believe this is the fifth podcast set. I think the fourth. Because it was office for a few episodes. And then... Kitchen table. The dining room table in the apartment. And then against this other wall here. And now this one. So yeah, you're right. Fourth. Got it. I wonder if it's, it's a thing where those earlier ones really stuck in my brain more and then the middle just that's how i am with kill counts <laughs> yeah. i could name the first year of kill counts and then there's like a big old gap and then i know like the last year that i did yeah mm-hmm. weird okay cool nailed it all right we've yes that was correct that yeah. was it was would you rather yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right next one next quote i mean I can't imagine the ways, just the many, many ways you could mutilate yourself being a logger back then. That lighthouse. sounds like you, and I think it's the lighthouse. Ruby. That's got to be, yeah. That I mean, the many, many ways. I bet I say it like that. The ma- yeah, the many, many yeah. ways. I can just, I can just hear you saying it in my head. I think it's, I think it's the lighthouse. I think we're talking about the lighthouse. We're talking about loggers, I guess. Because a logger. I mean, I can't imagine. The ways, just the many, many ways you could mutilate yourself being a logger back That's then. That's true. Wow, that was, was me. You. Well, we do talk alike and apparently look alike. People think we're siblings sometimes. That's weird. Yeah. I heard a theory about that once, like why couples look like each other. And it's because... It's because when I you think ha- I'm hot. So I was like, Well, You're maybe that's hot. part of it. But another thing is that... You know when you have like a friend you spend a lot of time with and you realize you pick up on their mannerisms and like if you meet someone who you meet someone's friend that they've known for a long time they almost they remind you a lot of the person you already know because you pick up someone's mannerisms when you spend a lot of time with them Mm -hmm. and so then over the years if you're with someone you're like using your face muscles in similar ways because you just have similar Ooh, yeah. and it subtly alters it literally yeah because you're both working the same facial muscles based on just how you react to just things, or, things or emote yeah. wow isn't that weird that's cool i, like I don't that. even know if that's true but I, that was a theory i heard once and i kind of believe it well it's like it's it's that kind of thing that i always like it's uh the very subtle but scientific ways that things like that can be true uh that i always find interesting you know like it sounds like bullshit but it could be true based on this very thing that you're you're not really thinking about all right we're gonna go on to the next one then this is number five uh do you think it changes a movie's rating if both people are giving and receiving hand stuff and it's not just one <laughs> i feel 
like I said that. <laughs> do, you, do you think? What was it? Can you say it again? <laughs> yeah. I don't read, know if I can. Read it exactly the way. <laughs> do you, do you think it changes a movie's rating if both people are giving and receiving hand stuff and it's not just one? I feel like I said that. That's a, Yeah, I think that's you. But what movie are we talking Didn't about? Didn't we talk about ratings? Uh, we, s- boobs, scenes, boob scenes, nudity in horror franchises? We didn't do a whole episode about nudity and ho- unless i'm misremembering no, no, it there was did. a game don't you play that clip until we've guessed i'm it. not i'm queuing I see vlc I, popping I, up no, on the no, no no that's just vlc okay well, no we did a game where i had to talk about i had to guess which movie franchises oh, had the most had the most skin scenes or whatever. yeah the mr skin um like <laughs> statistics game that yeah, we played <sighs> maybe that was it <laughs> was it that episode it was not, uh, no. I think it was in the old apartment. I I have like a vague memory of this, maybe, if I'm the one who said it. I think it was, was it the Moral Panic episode? It was not Moral Panic. Hmm. Was it? I don't think it was the Ebert episode. I don't think we're talking about hand stuff. No, he would like it, Ebert. Ebert was a little freak. Mm. He did make Beyond the Valley of the Dolls. That's so true. Forget. Yeah, yeah. Is it was it a movie review? It was a movie review. Okay. Okay, then what movie review has hand stuff? Psycho 1998. <laughs> it's, it's not Psycho 1998. It's not Psycho 1998. Okay. Okay. God. <laughs> what movie? What horror movie is someone getting hand stuff in? Lighthouse, but I feel like it wouldn't be two from the same episode. I don't know if we would episode. have two Lighthouse quotes. I don't think so. Hand stuff. Was there any hand stuff in House of Wax? Oh, yeah. I don't know if there is, but I wonder if it is like a 2000s. It, it kind horror. of feels. Is it like Cry Wolf or something? Th- those movies feel too. Mm, like, I don't know. Too sexless, maybe? I was going to say sexless, but I bet there's all sorts of objectification I if going on. This in was there. like some sleazy, like early 80s movie. Ah, uh, Toxic Avenger. How are we? Are we close in our. Uh, do you, you know want, what? You want me to play it no no you're, i feel like you're kind of just saying movies okay <laughs> so it, it, it could be a situation where you just like list a bunch of movies is to... this a late 70s early 80s movie or do you know no it? okay it is not what were we on track with the 2000s movie i believe it is more recent than that is it midsummer not no, that recent not midsummer maybe like truth or dare I guess we'll have to give up, but I do think you said it. I think I said it. And I'm assuming that when, in whatever movie we're talking about, there's hand stuff. Yeah, okay. All right, let's see what it actually is. In a movie, so you know how something is rated R if you use fuck in like a sexual way? Oh, yeah. But you can say it a certain amount of times if you're like, fuck that, you mm-hmm. know? Do you think it changes a movie's rating if both people are giving and receiving hand stuff and it's not just one hmm i feel like hand stuff is pretty just cut and dry yeah which is a horrible way to describe I was hand say, stuff but... james i was literally gonna say annabelle is a joke because i was like that's the funniest movie for there to be hand stuff and like the little doll <laughs> yeah. and then with giving and receiving her and Chucky. yeah oh shit fuck i'm mad i didn't say that oh you should have like, said there's it there's no way i could prove it no I mean, now i know for i think you're a fucking future liar. quotes <laughs> Man, all right. That was an early episode uh, again. Yeah. First dozen or so episodes. Yeah, maybe I don't building. remember them as well as I thought. <laughs> well, it's hard. They're all an hour. Can't remember every time we talked about hand stuff. Yeah, that'd be a lot on the podcast. This is a lot of hand stuff. All right, what's the what's the next? I like one? how present James reacted the same way to saying cut and dry <laughs> with hand stuff. I, you couldn't see it because the clip was rolling, but as soon as past me said that, I was like, oh, and then past me was like, and that's a horrible thing to say. Yeah. Uh, we all reacted. We all reacted to that. <laughs> okay, you guys ready for the next one? Yeah. This is number six. I'm going to feel up Freddy 100%. Oh, I'm sorry. That might misrepresent things. I'm going to feel up Freddy 100%. <laughs> that's you. 
You think so? Yeah. I especially trust you. Especially saying like 100%. 100%. I think you said it. I th it's, think it's a would you rather. It's got to be a would you rather. It's James and would you rather. Water at you. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to pick Freddy. I'm anyway. going to feel up Freddy. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know if that was the first or second would you rather. That was the second. The first one we filmed in the office. Really? Yeah. That was that early? Yeah. Wow. Have we done more than two? No, I don't think so. Because I don't. I mean, I guess we, we could do another one. It's been long enough. It's been long enough. Yeah, I just don't like redoing games too often. I want them to stay interesting. I know everyone is like, we want other guests to kill. Those are so hard to put together. It's and like, it's hard to find kills that all kind of sound somewhat distinct because then if it's not, there's not really a point. There has to be something about it that gives away feature. what it is. Yeah. Like Frankenstein's monster throwing the little girl in the lake it's a splash and it kind of sounds old and then there's like i don't know i can't think of any other examples people want survivor again too and my thought was we could do one for each new season of survivor oh twice, that'd be fun twice a year people know? do want survivor again yeah, yeah. <laughs> people yeah, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah i'm down with that yeah okay all, all right. right let's do the next one next quote all right, the next one this is number seven God, I don't even want to say how like old I was when I realized you don't drive with both of your feet. That's me. That's got to be you. That's me. Okay. What episode? <laughs> I don't know what episode. Was there an episode where driving, maybe a quiet place? Ooh. Where they like launch the truck. Or is it Maximum Overdrive, maybe? Ooh, was it either of those episodes, Gressel? It was neither of those episodes. Was it, like it was a movie review. Okay. Hmm. When would this have come up, us talking about driving with feet? We didn't review the car on the podcast, did we? No, we did a commentary track. Or did we just watch that on I, our own? I can't the car remember rules. anymore. I would do an episode on the car. We still got to watch the car, too, that came out a couple of years ago. What? Yeah. I, so uh, is they this like an Easy Rider two? No, thing? no. A, a couple of years ago, they made a sequel to the car called The Car Two. I think it was a modern day movie, as opposed to Grizzly Two, which Grizzly was filmed, and then they filmed Grizzly Two in like the seventies or eighties, but only released it a couple of years ago, and it's got like famous actors in it who had weird. filmed small oh roles, i know what you're talking right? about yeah, yeah yeah and they filmed it in like italy or something weird i don't know yeah maybe i'm thinking of it's weird else. back Fuck. to driving with your feet there's a movie review that wasn't i have a the one about killer cars why do i feel like it's the blob or like an 80s movie we talked about the blob on a podcast we did the blob yeah Christ, was it The Blob? It was not The Blob. Was it an 80s movie? Nope, much more recent. Mm, much more Is recent. Is it hereditary? It's not hereditary. <laughs> oh my God. I drive with That's... both my feet right into that phone <laughs> Um. Oh boy, I don't know. I, yeah, let's see what let's it is. Let's see that clip. Let's roll that clip. I want some of that wine. No, he learned it from watching Loomis. And so you can't learn to drive a I car from, it from watching. watching you. Like yeah, you, you don't. You can't fucking no, 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 no. no you no, don't no. look and see. Oh, they're applying this much gas. Like no, fuck you. It's a dumb God, explanation. I don't even want to say <laughs> how like old I was when I realized you don't drive with both your feet. Like <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> you agreed with me. <laughs> yeah. No, I do remember as a kid thinking that it was. Uh, an all four limbs experience. Like I mean, why would you set. think otherwise? If you look at the information given to you, you see your parent or whatever adults driving you around. You can't see where their feet are, really. Mm -hmm. And then if you look at the front of a car, you, you see, see there's two, two pedals. pedals. So why and wouldn't you, you think that until yeah. you start to drive your And I believe I discussed this probably in a previous episode as we've established, I can't really remember, but there, I did have a car. There are some cars you drive with both feet. But this car that I had was not meant to be driven with both feet. The problem was that when it idled, it would turn off. And so what I had to do was when I was braked at a stop sign or a red light, I had to apply gas, basically revving up the engine oh while holding down the brake. And then 
when the red light turned green, ease off of it. I was basically driving stick, but oh an automatic. God. Uh, I bet we discuss all of this in that episode and we don't remember. Right? Oh, yeah. The episode was Halloween 2018. It's Halloween. Yeah, yeah. We should say Halloween 2018. Yep. Next quote. (laughs) All right. Uh, This is number eight. It is, there's no point for us to go through how the watermelon turns into a decapitated head that bites the girl on a butt. Her butt. What? I'm going to have to hear this one more time. I, I, I didn't read these beforehand, so. <laughs> yeah, it did sound like you were discovering this <laughs> sentence along with us, which I really appreciated. There's no point for us to go through how the watermelon turns into a decapitated head that bites the girl on a butt, her butt. Oh, I thought that was you messing up the quote. That's part of the quote, on a butt, her that, butt. That is 100%, yes, it is on a butt, comma, her butt. That's me, that stutter, classic James. That's gotta be house. How Sue? Yep. There's absolutely. no other movie where that would be the situation. Absolutely. Because that is literally watermelon heads in that movie. Okay. Yeah. And also, it's just a fucking fever dream. There's no point for us to go through how the watermelon turns into a decapitated head that bites a girl on a butt. Yeah. Her butt, not a butt. Yeah. <laughs> your face. <laughs> The little freeze frame at the end of the clip. Oh, fuck. That movie's so cool. Oh, yeah. That's a weird one. I miss that one. I bet Gressel would have a good time watching that one. What's what? Oh, you've talked about it. Yeah, it's a 1977 Japanese movie that's just all kinds of fucking wackadoo, man. No, House is cool. If you haven't seen House, go watch House. It rules. Number Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. This is it. We're at the end. We're eating poop. We're eating each other. <laughs> it's gotta be human centipede. <laughs> is it human? Okay, who said it though? Wait, it has okay, to be yeah, me. Hold on, it's gotta be you. This is this is it. We we're at the end. We're eating yeah. poop. We're eating each other. <laughs> Great. Yep, yep. That tracks. You don't even really need the rest of the context for that. That's all it is. You just yeah. hear the movie title. It's like yeah. <laughs> Hey, want to talk to you about our first sponsor this week, Shudder. Shudder has just the best collection of streaming horror around. With Shudder, you can stream supernatural, thriller, and horror movies and TV shows across all your favorite devices. Seriously, they support everything. As an Android household, James and I really appreciate it. We've been talking about a lot of old episodes on this episode, so if you've got a hankering for any of those movies, a lot of them are on Shudder. Speaking of old episodes, if you really liked my Cursed Movies episode, allegedly Cursed Movies anyway, Shudder has an entire docu-series about that called Cursed Films. It explores the strange and tragic coincidences on allegedly cursed productions like The Exorcist, Poltergeist, and The Wizard of Oz. They also have the sadness, which everyone's been raving about. James and I have really been looking forward to watching that one. You can stream this and everything else Shudder has to offer and more for just $5.99 a month. And right now, you can stream your first 30 days of Shudder for free. Go to Shudder.com and use code DEADMEAT. That's S-H-U-D-D-E-R.com code DEADMEAT. Stream free for your first 30 days by going to Shudder.com and use the promo code DEADMEAT. Our next sponsor this week is Fume. If you're a smoker and you're either thinking about quitting or in the process of quitting, you probably know that it's extremely difficult. Fume is a natural inhaler designed for a better, safer, and more natural way to quit cigarettes. It's no smoke, no vape, and no nicotine. So it's this tiny little pipe-looking thing made of wood, it's made of 100% Canadian maple, and it's designed to replace the hand-to-mouth habit of smoking. So sometimes when we have sponsors on the show, they send us products so that we can have some personal experience with it. And Fume was kind enough to send us one of these. Although when I got it in the mail, I didn't realize who it was from or what it was. So I opened it and they put one of the peppermint cores in it and just kind of popped it in my mouth and just sat there and didn't realize it was a quitting smoking tool until I was kind of looking through the leaflets that came with it. It just tasted really good, honestly. The peppermint kind of helped open up my air 
ways, it was very relaxing and nice. It's truly gentle. There's no weird chemicals in here or anything. And again, it's a no nicotine product. Whether you're a smoker or ex-smoker who still struggles with cravings, Fume is the perfect tool for you. It's time to create positive habits and quit naturally with Fume, and we're here to make it easier. Right now, if you head to breathefume.com slash deadmeat and use promo code deadmeat, you are going to save 10% off your entire order. You're going to save on the cigarettes you aren't buying and save on your initial purchase of Fume. That's 10% off your entire order when you head to b-r-e-a-t-h-e-f-u-m dot com slash dead meat and use the code dead meat. Our last sponsor this week is Hawthorne, and I have James with me. Hey, it's me. James, will you tell us about Hawthorne? Yeah, Hawthorne is a men's grooming brand that hooks you up with products that are tailored for your skin type, your hair type, all that, because you take the Hawthorne quiz on their website. And this isn't just like a two or three question quiz. This is in depth. It doesn't take too long, but like, you know it's detailed and they care. And what I like is is uh, some of the cologne they recommended to me it ended up being one of my favorite scents, sandalwood. So they're doing something right because they, they know what I want. What kind of questions did they ask you on the quiz? Uh, well, they ask you about skin type, what you're looking for in your hygiene stuff. Like, uh, apparently I want to smell notable. That's what the quiz results told me. But yeah, they, they really, make you get to know your body and hair type. So uh, yeah, it'll be a little introspective. It's nice. So make sure you're ready for anything or anyone that comes your way by taking Hawthorne's quiz today. Go to hawthorne.co and use promo code ROOSTER to get 10% off your first purchase. That's H-A-W-T-H-O-R-N-E dot C-O promo code ROOSTER, hawthorne.co promo code ROOSTER. <laughs> that was my rooster. Yep. Unfortunate. Could tell you uh, what dates that video though. I'm wearing a Velveteen Dream shirt. Yikes! Yeah. That's a bummer. I didn't know. Guy was a good wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next quote. <laughs> I knew that human centipede would be the one you'd get immediately. Yeah. Oh, I mean, eating poop. You're wearing your I Heart Army Hammer shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I sometimes think I, I like have this weird daydream about a time traveler coming from like, I don't know, 2010. Sure. And just like, what are all the things that a person from 2010 could very innocently be into that if they then skipped forward 10 years, like not much would give them away. Yeah. But being like, I love Louis CK <laughs> would just give them away. Or like, I don't know. Spacey. Yeah, Kevin Spacey, Spacey yes, amazing yeah. actor. Love House of Cards. Oh, there's a kitty I think the plan's here. working. Hold on. I think the plan is working. Girl. Yes, yes, yes. One more level. We got a cat here. We have a cat. Cat update. Cat in the tower. Hi. On video. The, see, we need to get a dedicated we'll cat tower. We'll get a tower. cat tower. This is the one that she sits in in our bedroom. Yeah. But we'll definitely get one. I'll get one in like some funky colors for her to sit on. Okay, cool. Because this um, is beautiful. It's perfect. It's everything I want in my life. Next quote. <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> this is number 10. By the way, uh, we have a lot less time to edit this episode because we're going to Michigan yeah, for a wedding. Yeah, I'm officiating my sister's wedding, so I'm on a bit of a time crunch. Yeah, we're, we, we have uh, five days cut out of our usual schedule. So that's why we're just doing this silly little episode. If yeah. you're wondering, like, why are they doing But I'm having a good time. This is fun, yeah. yeah. I, li I liked not having to prep anything. It was very freeing. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies right. for the line cut. Uh, 10. <laughs> You know what I get sick of? How much Shaggy and Scooby need to eat. They eat nonstop. It's insane. It's their sole motivating thing in everything they do is food. That's you. And yeah. that's in the Scooby-Doo Confederate Ghost Soldier Island or whatever that was called. <laughs> I, you know what? I get sick of how much Shaggy and Scooby need to eat. It's a problem. It's I was getting very aggravated and very um, stressed out by it. <laughs> Because <laughs> they clearly have a tapeworm. <laughs> they all, they also, both I have just did like a g -g -g ghost thing g -g 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 -ghost inadvertently. Because they clearly have a tapeworm. Yeah. It's evident. Like, like They eat nonstop. It's yeah. insane. It's their sole motivating thing in everything they do is food. Mm -hmm. My beard looked good in that clip. I know it's fun watching this weird evolution of our hair. And so many, so many of those with the the pixie cut for you. 
I know. Yeah. It's weird because people, I think, people still send me drawings of me with the pixie cut. And that's like two years old now. It's such like a signature thing. I don't mm -hmm. know if I'll go back though. Yeah. I don't know if I'll go back to the real short on the sides. Guy. Yeah. Like it was cool for a while, but I don't know. Just kind of. It ended up, it's weird having short hair. Like it's easier and harder to deal with because the pixie cut, you have to style it or else it looks silly but long hair you can just put it up and well what's great is you can rock every look thanks whereas i'll look back at some <laughs> things that i did <laughs> and not want That's to look back at true. them you always look you lived with me during lockdown <laughs> <laughs> you saw that deterioration i hope we get a caveman james and did you have like the long hair and beard at all for the podcast I, i've had all hair throughout dead yeah. meat so yeah we'll see i hope we get a good clip of caveman james for sure yeah. nothing will ever meet match tarzan james from drunk disney yeah that, oh god that was rough i liked it i liked it too <laughs> i thought it looked nice look it could look a lot of things i don't know about looking nice you can say it looked good to you but like looking nice i feel like that's a specific <laughs> characteristic all right what's the next one focus on the family can go fuck themselves that's me <laughs> yeah. that's me and it's the christian movie reviews episode like focus on the family can go fuck themselves <laughs> i don't i don't have an issue saying that there i plan to make <laughs> Oh, no. What did you then we just about to go into the rest of my manifesto. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I plan to make just cutting it cut off it, at the, the threats of like some kind of organized. Uh, I don't know what. <laughs> there, your hair was uh, transitioning. Yeah. Yeah, that was growing out from the pixie cut. That yeah. that was a rare one. Rare, yeah. Because that's definitely yeah transitory rare hair for haircut. sure. Yeah, kind of like chin or like neck length. Kind of a bob, bob yeah. yeah. That was here. Focus on the family can go fuck themselves. Sure. I'm not arguing that. Mm -hmm. uh, the Christian movie review episode. Yeah, I that just was a love how fun. that got cut off before it became actionable. <laughs> <laughs> it just like made me get put on a list. I was waiting for the technical difficulties graphic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. All right. Next one. He's been impeached from his mayorship of Titty City. <laughs> That's it? He's been impeached from his mayorship, his mayorship of, Titty, of City. Titty City. I don't remember reviewing. God, what was it? Oh, the it, Ben. It was like the Ben Show, right? I think it was the it was Ben just, Hoffman just called Show. Called the Ben Show, or is it the Ben Hoffman Show? One of those. It's like the best sketch from that show. Because in in circa 2012, circa 2013, every comedian had their own show. They had every, yeah, a sketch comedy Because you had the Jesselnick show. experience. Amy Schumer had a show. Yeah. Uh, I Nick, can't even. The Kroll show. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, yeah, just lots of sketch comedy. And one of them was a guy who worked at Current TV. And the only sketch that I can remember from it is a, a PSA of a guy who got into a car crash racing towards a party <laughs> after his friend texted him that it was titty city over there and he wanted him to be the mayor of titty city yeah it's so good but what the fuck is that episode like what are we talking about yeah all, I, all someone I'm doing gets is... in a car crash i'm guessing no no this has to do more with titties than cars i bet you think it's like some guy getting shunned by a, a lady in a horror movie that has to be like a 2000s. It feels like a 2000s. Is it Truth or Dare? No, it's 90s. 90s. Anaconda? <gasps> it's Anaconda? Okay. How'd you get that? Hold on. Let's guess the context. Wait, wait, wait. I know what it is. I know what it is. I know uh, what it is. I can't stop it. it. Space bar. I know what it is. Space bar. It's okay. I know what it Space is. Space bar again to pause it's it because you hit it after it stopped and you start playing it again. There's like that couple that they go off and try and fuck in the jungle and yes. I forget which one Because they're of going them. to get uh, uh, Wild Sound. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They're, they go off to get Wild Sound and I forget. I think... I forget. I think she like actually wants to fuck, but he actually really cares about getting sound. I think. I don't think that sounds right. I think something else disrupts them, like a rather snake. than his dedication to fall like a folly. Like giant snake. <laughs> folly, folly, folly. His dedication to folly. <laughs> Hubris. <laughs> it looks like you are the one who says it yeah. in this clip, and we've got Lucy cameoing. Oh, nice. In the clip. Let's see. Yeah, I, I saw Rod here speaking at almost, and he's been impeached from his mayorship of Titty City. Oh, <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> oh, don't give him the tits. <laughs> don't give him the tits. Okay. Good stuff. How did, damn. Anaconda. I just, I just remember, because I was trying to think of, okay, horror movies where there's a scene where maybe someone gets like romantically rejected. And I just remembered that happens in Anaconda. Okay. Yeah, today Lucy discovered that that door goes to another room and now that she she's really wants in. to go in there. It's probably her last place in this house that she hasn't place. explored. Yeah. And now she just in has there. to get in there. Yo, we got boards of teenage girls. Boards of them. Judging yo facial hair. Okay, that's definitely you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Judging yo facial I just feel like that's <laughs> something you would say. We got boards of teenage girls. Boards? Like like school boards? Wait, okay, wait. City councils? Why do I remember there being like a mustache competition in a movie we were watching? Am I insane? I don't like think it's you're like ins- a beauty pageant. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. There's like a. I, oh no! This is gonna make me insane. Is this like a 70s movie? Like an older movie? Not a movie review. Oh. Oh man, boards of did I, did I say teenage <laughs> Just, girls judging your facial? Yo, hair? we got boards of teenage girls. Boards of them judging your facial hair. What the fuck? Is it from a game? Not what? not necessarily. Is it a research episode? Like a about kind of like a general uh, yes. topic. Yes, I would say that it's a it's a general horror topic. This is you know I I got to admit I feel like the last few quotes I was like oh these have pretty uh very specific things that we can identify them with. This one props. I, I can't. have no I'm, idea. I got nothing. Truly out of context. You guys ready for it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we got boards of teenage girls. Boards of them. Okay, I think. I was correct in that it would have been something to do with an older movie. Cause I remember, I think that was like a, uh, I, I forget what movie it would have been for, but it was like one of those advertised newspaper gimmicks where it's like before the show, there's a facial hair competition. And for sure. That was in the horror movie gimmicks. The horror movie gimmicks episode. I don't know if it was a William Castle gimmick or not, but it would have been, if I'm remembering right, just one of those weird, like, it even might have been part of one of those press kits that they would send out be like ideas to promote our movie and it would have a list of the most insane shit For ever sure. that you would never see now. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> even non-horror films would have to do gimmicky shit. So this is Ooh. one for Jailhouse Rock in 1957. Elvis Presley's sideburns are world famous. Capitalize on this fact by holding a best sideburns competition in your theater lobby one hour before your box office opens for Jailhouse Rock. Have a board of teenage girls as the judges. Offer prizes for the best sideburns in your town and free admissions for the runners up. (laughs) They say white people have no culture. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, we got boards of teenage girls. Boards of them. But I'm also thrown off that we've already had a quote from the horror movie gimmicks episode. Sure, yeah. So now there's another one. So now I just don't know what are the fucking rules here. Yeah, that makes it harder. It does. Yeah, I'll put in more context for that one, I guess, because I'm curious also what the fuck we're talking about. I think you nailed it, though, yeah. I I just don't know what movie it would have been for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next quote. 14. We just spent a whole podcast talking about how you would fuck him. Just spent a whole, a whole pod, whole a podcast. whole podcast talking about how you would fuck him. So probably this would have been after a Mary fuck kill. We spent a whole podcast. I'm going to assume I'm saying it. Is it the mash episode? Maybe that we're referring to. That's the problem. Is this isn't an episode that we spent the entirety of talking about how you would fuck him. This James, you epi- got it. What you got? You said what it was. What did you say? Uh, fuck, Mary kill? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> we just spent a whole podcast talking about how, you how I would fuck, fuck him, yeah. Why don't we... Ah! Who are you talking about fucking, hon? I don't know. Uh, that must have been at the end of the episode for me to have said we just spent yeah, this whole I podcast wonder who, episode. I'll edit in who I was talking about, I guess. Yeah. I have no idea. I'm going to fuck Jack Ripner from Red Eye and then... What? Wow, maybe just give you the choice. That's the easiest <laughs> choice in this whole fucking game. I know. Obviously, you're going to fuck Jackson Ripner. Clearly. Yeah, I mean. We just spent a whole podcast talking about how, how you I would fuck, fuck him. Yeah, it's going to be a runner now, I guess. 
let's hear the next one. All right, the next one. Uh, hey, this movie's good. Fuck what? off. No, 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 no. Yeah, my phone fell asleep. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, come on. Bella, what's up? <laughs> hey, this movie's good. <laughs> hey, this movie's good. What, what if it had more butts in it? That could be about any movie, too. Hey, this movie's good. What if it... Okay, so it's us pretending to be someone else. And we're saying more butts, meaning there, there are, are some butts. There are a lot butts. of butts. Toxic Avenger? I, that's more of a boob movie than a butt movie. Really? Even with, like, the gym scene? It's got all the 80s leotards? Sure. Is this an 80s movie? No. It, it's a movie, though. It is a movie, and it is a uh, 90s movie. 90s. It's not white noise? 90s movie might be somewhat misleading. No, it's not white, white noise, noise is 2000s. Well, he's a misleading, so. It's definitely a movie that was made in the 90s, but I don't know if saying it's a 90s movie is going to be particularly helpful. What? What the fuck does that mean? More butts in a 90s movie. What movie has a lot of butts in it? No, it could just have like one butt. Well, no, I, I see what you're saying with the like. I think it's us thinking of the process that went into why are there so many butts and whatever this movie That's is. fair. That's probably a good guess. It's a... Musing on this movie's good, but what if might be helpful. This movie's good, but... So it's a good movie? With butts. It, it's, a, it's a remake of a good movie. Oh, is it Wicker Man? No, that's not 90. Oh. It's a remake of a, good... of a good movie. Is it House of Wax? Oh my god, it's goddamn Psycho 1998. <laughs> the original movie and deciding, hey, this movie's good. What if it had more butts in it? With fucking Anne Hesh's hole in it. Fuck. <laughs> With her entire asshole in it. Man. <laughs> I thought we had maybe escaped it. <laughs> Literally someone, I just did a live stream and someone was like, I'm sad you guys don't talk about Psycho 1998 on the podcast anymore. And I was like, listen, no, it's no, a no. running joke and you got to rest you it gotta, sometimes. You got to like save it for moments like this where you're the <laughs> one who realizes what it is. God damn it. It's so much less funny if I figured it out before you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was you saying Oh, Psycho 90. No, I've got a pin here that's up. I, I, I'm so sorry. Someone gave it to me at a convention, and I, I don't remember your name. If it was you, please let me know. But it's a pin that says Psycho 1998 and then the greater sign 1916. And I've kept it with me ever since then. Yeah, that was at Scarathon, right? Scarecon, yeah. Scarecon, I'm sorry. Yep, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just can't remember who gave it to me. I was just always thinking of that convention. It was like what December 2019 yeah. or like late 2019. Late, yeah. And I think that was our last one before it was. things shut down. Yeah. And we made we made David not watch Ice Cream Man with us. <laughs> Poor man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's next? What number are we on? This is 16 yeah. of 22. We're getting there. Uh, yeah. And it is. Is it cool or is it an Evanescence music video? Got to be a 2000s movie. It has to be 2000s. My my gut instinct, and I know it's not because we haven't covered this on the podcast, but my first reaction was Halloween 2, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Okay. It's not. We haven't done that on the podcast. Uh, so it's got to have like flashy. I was going to say like. Kind of strobey, low frame rate. Very blue and mm -hmm. high contrast. Is, is it, it the ring? Maybe? No. And one of us thought it was cool. Yeah, and and the other person saying, "Is it cool?" I think I bring. I think I say. I think this is me. I yes. think I'm saying because Evanescence is something I would thing. use as yeah. like a reference point. Yeah. That that one album's very good. I will the, stand wake by that. Me up and Do you have that album, Russell? No. It's a good <laughs> album. Don't say it like that. <laughs> I didn't. I, that was it during my period of I. I don't have any modern music. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. They were an exception. For and I me. feel like they're bordering on that kind of new metal or like 
emo a little rock bit, but her that, voice is so gorgeous. That Gressel would stay strongly away. She's from. like a sad lady singer. I figured you'd be. Yeah, into but that. it's got that crunchy. It's got that Lincoln Park. Yeah, that Lincoln Party. Oh, that's best of yeah. both worlds for me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm into it. That was not my scene at all back then. <sighs> is it a 2000s movie that we're reviewing? If I remember right, it's early 2000s. It has to be okay. Have we mentioned this already during? Today's so it's not Cry Wolf or House it's of not, Wax. Okay. Okay. What other early and it's not? I feel like white we've noise. covered a lot of early two thousands because they're the most fun to rag on, but they all kind of blend together a little bit. Mm-hmm. As as a hint, this is not, I don't think, widely considered a horror movie, or possibly at all considered a horror. Passion movie. of the Christ. It is Passion of the Christ. No way. Yeah. And There's then, a very cool raindrop shot. Is it cool or is it I an Evanescence it, music video? No, it's very music video. Yeah. But it was it caught my attention. Oh my god. It's gosh. like the raindrop. Yeah. I did think it was kind of cool. <laughs> Remember when we reviewed that on our horror podcast? Remember when I I speed read the New Testament to prep for that episode? I do. <laughs> yeah. I think we've got a Bible. Yeah. I, we have lots of different like religious texts. We have, we have yeah, a little collection. Yeah. yeah, that shot was kind of cool looking. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what past that me was 2000s. saying. Two thousands. I think because maybe you don't see anything that weird anymore. Where it's like, unless they're Sam Raimi making a new movie. Because I've seen clips from it on Twitter where people are like, "What is this shit? It looks like it was made in the early 2000s. And I'm like, "Yes." Wait, is shots from. The new Spider Man, or not Spider? Yeah, the uh, new Doctor Strange. <laughs> yeah, where it's like really weird crossfades and kind of. Oh, it's kind of goofy. That makes me so interested. I know that makes me want. I'll have no idea what the fuck's going on, but I know we should okay. watch it and then try to explain it. Mm, that'd be fun. Who would that be fun for? No, one. not not your comments section. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I actually, yeah. No, there there is a sizable part of the audience that would get a kick out of us trying to explain what happened what happened in that movie in the fucking 38th marvel movie or whatever the fuck uh with very limited context all right enter at your own risk on that one <laughs> uh you're you're gonna get this one you ready for it okay 17 i don't know if i'm alpha enough for jeff that had to be the survivor episode yeah i said that in the Survivor episode. Yeah, has to be. But I could fall on either side of that. I don't know. I'm, I don't know if I'm alpha enough for Jeff. Do you still feel that way? Uh, part of me has that fear, yes. But I have been reassured by many of you were in commenter that Jeff would, in fact, like me. So that makes me feel a little better. But I still, you know, it's just you say the wrong thing. And then maybe you just make a bad first impression. And then maybe he just writes you off. I don't know how he thinks. He strikes me as someone that is really particular too. Yeah. And is he's he's weird. He's a weird guy. It's I wonder what guy. it would be like to watch him and Tom Cruise have a conversation. I thought for some reason I thought you were going to say Tom Green. No, but that would, would also I would, be I would really pay good. So much money for that. Tom Green on Survivor would be le- like just a legendary season. Oh. It'd be so good. Put it on the same season for me that I go on yeah. hypothetically. Was there ever a sur- celebrity survivor? No. There's I'm a celebrity get me out of here. I think Mike White and fucking Joe Mo. There've been like professional athletes on Survivor before. There's a season um, Oh yeah, lots. I forget which season and I forget who the athlete was. What, the baseball player who said where he kept his his identity secret. Oh, oh, that was, it was a football player. I think it was Guatemala or Mexico. Yeah, and there was a person who was like, no, you're definitely. Yeah, because <laughs> she was like a sports writer yeah, yeah, or something. She sports, yeah. yeah, she was a sports reporter. And she was like, what'd you say your job was? And he said landscaping. <laughs> oh yeah, he said landscaping to explain his build. <laughs> so funny, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh man, yeah no, Tom Green on Survivor. Get the peti- get the change.org petition. They do allow Canadians now. Perfect, and they're yeah. always the best contestants. So <laughs> let's do it. But no, Tom Cruise and Jeff Probst. I feel like they're too similar. They're in like the same genre of person. Does that make sense? I get it. Yeah, yeah. Like it'd like be it'd be intense. like a oh yeah, it'd be like a nice off. Yeah, like they're both nice, but also terrifying, and they both take what they do so seriously and they're very sincere about their dedication to the craft like that's all legit and it's i bet they're great 
to work for in that regard but also what is it even like being friends with them i don't think you can yeah anyway there would be intensity behind those smiles yeah they 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 hear your name once and remember it though Ooh, that's for the sure. type of person they are. there was a post on the uh, survivor subreddit i haven't seen enough seasons of survivor for this to have been interesting to me so i didn't click on it but the topic was who do you think is the most recent survivor contestant that jeff wouldn't have wouldn't be able to remember the name of oh no like if he saw them you know i almost think he could name all of them. I kind of think he just remembers everyone. Yeah. But maybe there's the, someone There from was like one season, season that we watched when we were doing our big rewatch where there there was they like had 20 people show up at the beach and then they immediately booted somebody. That's oh, right. that was a uh, was that Cook? No. Yeah, was it, it was Cook Island. Yeah. Yeah. That sucked. Yeah, I fucking hate it. Two people got booted right away. You're right. I bet that if there's anyone he can't remember, it's those people. All right. I can't. It's stuck in my head. John Kramer, rent free. I think, this is my guess, I think it's you, and I think it's our Super Tuesday episode because he was one of the candidates. No? Half right. It's me. Okay, so it's James. Well, then it has to be either, it's got to be a game episode. It's like a March Madness or a, ooh, or a ooh. Would March You Madness? Rather. It's a game. Okay. It's not March Madness or Would You Rather. Shit. What other games do we play? We did Fuck Mastermind. Kill. Mastermind. Oh, God. I forgot even the rules of that. It's like you putting stuff in order. Mm. Um, oh, no. This is a guess the kill. So just get it out of your head. I Stop can't. thinking it's about it. It's stuck in my head. It's not. No. John Kramer. Mm. Rent free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because I would have been trying to guess what a kill was, but I kept thinking of Saw. Yeah. And you told me to knock it, like it off. Not, yeah. Yeah. Not Saw. That was oh, okay. long hair, dark hair. Yeah, another you. rare. <laughs> That's the closest <laughs> to my variant. natural hair color. Oh, yeah. You did that for a minute, and you were like, nah. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> but, yeah, that's basically what my natural hair color is. just brown. It's brown. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next one. 19. Gross, but, like, awesome touch that his dick is bloody. Ah. Uh. Gross, but awesome. That... You know what? Bloody dick? What That's do you got? Midsummer. Because it's the scene where like it's that ritual, like the eagle bloody. No, eagle? no, no, where he has sex with the red haired girl in like that weird ceremony because she's like losing her virginity to him. Oh. And to get pregnant. And he's on drugs. I don't remember seeing a bloody dick when he's running around. I feel like you do. I forget who's Since says I've never it, clocked though. that, I'm gonna say it's you who said it. In midsummer. Yeah, he runs out of there. Right off the bat, he's like Fuck. very, I think, gross, but like awesome touch that his dick is bloody. Oh, is it? He I has didn't a bloody notice. dick. Because yeah, she's yeah. a virgin. Oh, yeah. Which I just I don't know. I, I love how frank this movie is. Yeah. <laughs> my face shows that I did not <laughs> catch that. Look at my flower crown. It's a nice flower crown. Yeah. I love when we dress up for episodes. We need to do that more often. We dress up so often. In the past five years, for this and the kill count, there are so many clips of us in costumes. It's always fun. I like it. Yeah. Okay. What do we got? All right. I want to be mentally attached to the shark forever. Lake Placid versus Anaconda? Or no, that's mentally, not. There's not a shark involved. Mentally in attached to the shark. For, is that a would you rather? <laughs> that's a you quote. Russell's nodding at would you rather. Ooh, okay. Is it me? It's got to be you. Like fucking uh, like Bran in Game of Thrones when he's like warging. <laughs> yeah. and he, and he's like, oh, I can, t I can taste what this wolf is eating. That'd be cool, actually. Like, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to like... You want to get all that fish taste in your mouth, dude? It's fish. It's fish. It's good. It's, it is a hard choice, but I want to be I want to be mentally attached to the shark <laughs> forever. How many more we got? There are two more. Two okay. more. Two more. The penultimate is, like, Grandpa wants to get drunk, damn it. He's not going to let the deaths of some of his close family ruin his birthday. That, no. I was going to say creep show. Isn't that a Father's Day or is it a birthday cake? What I can't remember. He just wants this cake. That might be a Father's Day cake. I don't remember. I don't know. Grandpa isn't going to let. Oh. Is it frogs? 
Like, Grandpa wants to get drunk, it's damn like, it. Dude, I'll take He's the double He's not going to let the deaths but... of some of his close family ruin <laughs> his birthday. Yeah. There you go. There's Big Bushy Beard, James. I do not remember your beard that long. <laughs> dude, it got real long. Because I think, what, that must have been 2020? Was yeah. that when we did the creature feature? Yep. Because oh, you can yeah. tell my pixie cut was starting to grow out, too. Yeah. I go get it trimmed. Yeah. That was like, fuck it. The world's ending. I'll grow out the beard. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, like, I just went through my Rolodex, and I was like, okay, horror movies where an old guy's having a birthday party. Frogs. Frogs is fucking great. Frogs is so much fun. Good so it was the bees. A lot of good movies that summer. I want to do another themed summer because it gave us an excuse to watch some random ones that we maybe wouldn't have bothered with otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> and that are now some of my favorites that we've done. Those are fun uh, series. Yeah. yeah. All right. This is the last one. Last one. Last one. We talk so much about poop. I never realized how much we talk about poop and child murder. Fuck. That was from recently because I think it's when we talked about the out of context the dead that was this context. episode that we're filming right now. No, 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 no. We mention it. <laughs> I forget what episode we said, oh, we're putting this up on the channel and you can watch it. Oh. You you may have said these exact words earlier. Though. We might have, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just can't remember which episode it would have been where we kind of plugged that. Yeah. Um. There's no context. It's just an episode that was filmed in here, in here but against the wall. Yeah. Um, was it white noise? It was not white noise. That's a good guess. Huh? Yeah, like around there. Yeah, I just can't remember. But I feel like is it you? Is it is that you saying it? Yeah, it could go either way. It is not. Oh, that was me you? saying it. Okay, okay. I just don't Chelsea, remember. I don't remember what episode. Pretty recent. Is. Oh, what have we even covered recently? I don't my know, man. My brain, brain is mush. You want it? Yeah. Just give it to us. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> we talk so much about poop. Like, I n never realized how much we talk about poop and child murder. Was yeah. that scream in our wedding? Yep. Yeah, it just was. was talking about stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Which is kind of what this episode turned into. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. This was fun. Thank you so much, Bella, for putting that together for us. Yes. I, I was exciting to actually And Brie pulled the clips. Oh, yeah. And thank you, Brie, for pulling so the you. clips. Mm-hmm. Both of you made it so that I could finally play a game. Yeah. And thanks, Russell, for doing all the clips and <laughs> reading all those quotes aloud. So it's going to be a little bit of a sloppy line cut. Just your I'm very, sure, yeah. very bemused voice reading all those <laughs> made it so much funnier. I tried to be as flat as I could. No, yeah. Good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I was worried, like, if one of us read them out loud, just hearing it come out of one of our mouths might... Just jog like, oh, yeah, I remember saying this. There are several times, though, where the quote could have gone either way. Yeah. Because at this point. We talk the same. We go, we've we been together a decade. We're going to pick so up the weird. same kind of, uh, yeah, vocal tendencies. Yeah. And facial structure. And facial structure. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, you've got a wedding to officiate. I do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> 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 Oh, God, we're going to write our own thank you cards for our wedding on the plane because we're still not done with those. How about this? How about we had your friend come to our wedding in January. We went to their wedding a month ago. We got, we their, got their thank, thank you, card. you card. It made me feel so bad. They had to, they had to have, like, pre-done them. Right? There's no way. Honestly, like, that's a good We should have done that. Yeah, I should have prepped it. Like, Shit. Well, cool. Uh, follow Dead Meat on social media at Dead Meat James on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. And I'm at Carebeck, C A R E B E C C on Twitter and Instagram. And if you want merch, deadmeatstore.com. Until next time, I'm James. <laughs> I'm Chelsea. And this has been the Dead Meat Podcast.